The more you use the Axiom Pro keyboard, the more you realize just how powerful this board truly, truly is, not only to your creative workflow, but also to your editing workflow. Now, when I'm working on music, I can't help but reach for the QWERTY keyboard. I do it, it's second nature. It's like a bad habit, it's hard to break. Well, the Axiom Pro allows you to accomplish just as much by sending the same kind of keyboard shortcuts you'd use on a QWERTY keyboard using the pads and the buttons. Let me show you. Now, you're gonna find ASCII key commands already programmed into the default set of the Axiom Pro. There's a patch for Pro Tools on preset two, that's Mac, and one on preset three for the PC. Loading the patch is as simple as selecting it and pressing the load soft key. Now, the numbers group just there has a set of ASCII key commands that are pre-programmed just for Pro Tools. Button one is the same as selecting save from the file menu. It's gonna save your session. Button number two, that turns your metronome on and off. One click to turn it on, one click to turn it off. Button number three allows you to switch between the mix window and the edit window. This is probably one of the most used key commands within Pro Tools. Button number four is duplicate or command D. That allows me to quickly duplicate regions. And of course I can undo them with a transport. Button number five and six, they're the same as the up and the down arrow, which means that you can change the size of the track you're working with by simply holding down seven and then pressing six to make the track larger or five to make the track smaller. Now, of course, this function works because number seven is actually the control modifier. Number eight, that's the same as the command key. Number nine, the same as the option key. And finally, zero is your shift key. This means that right out of the box, you can substitute your QWERTY keyboard commands for almost anything, especially when you use the modifiers right here to perform functions such as option dragging to make a copy of a region in the edit window. Again, just speeding up your workflow. Of course, these modifier commands work in all windows within Pro Tools, including the MIDI editor. Right here, I can make a selection of notes and then duplicate them. And of course, if I want to make a copy of specific notes, I can use the option modifier to simply drag and drop a copy. Nice. Now assigning custom keystrokes to the Axiom Pro is drop dead simple. You can reassign existing commands or select other items like pads or buttons and customize them yourself. Let me show you. So I want to assign a couple of key commands to my trigger pads. And currently my trigger pads are sending out MIDI commands, which is what I use to program drum patterns. So the first thing I'm going to do is change my kit bank from kit one over to kit four. That way I've got eight pads that I can use to fire off key commands. I'm going to select pad eight by tapping it. I'm going to press the edit button and choose the mode number two, which is control. I'm going to change the type from MIDI note over to ASCII keystroke and then assign a particular keystroke to it. In this case, delete. I want pad 8 to delete regions or MIDI notes while I'm editing. And once you've assigned it, you're going to want to give it a name. And this time, I'm going to use the bottom row of encoders to enter my data. Encoder 5 for capital letters, 6 for lowercase letters, and if you turn seven, you're gonna get numbers, and eight will allow you alternate characters. And when you finish, just press exit, and that's it. If you need a modifier to go along with that keystroke, then just add one. I want to assign the mute command to trigger pad seven. Again, change from MIDI note to ASCII keystroke, using encoder five to assign the letter M, and then tap down, Assign the modifier again with encoder five or the plus and minus key. There it is, command and exit. So now I can select the region and then simply delete it with trigger pad eight or mute it with trigger pad seven. And of course, all of these commands are gonna work in any window like the MIDI editor. Make a selection of notes, trigger pad eight to delete them or select notes and use trigger pad seven to 
mute them. And of course, all of these work on the PC platform. Amazing. Now, because there are four pad banks, I can easily select kit one for programming drums and go back to kit four when I want to do some editing. Nice. Now, I'm sure that by now you're starting to realize just what you can do in your own studio utilizing the Axiom Pro and, of course, Hyper Control, not forgetting those powerful assignable keystrokes. Now, of course, the Axiom Pro can be used with any digital audio workstation, but there's one feature in Pro Tools that makes it all stand out from the rest of the crowd, and it's called plugin mapping, and that's what we're going to take a look at next. So join me.